Can pain medication make arthritis worse? You're watching the Physio Channel, my name is Daniel Lawrence, and in this video, we're gonna answer that very question. This video is for information purposes only, and you should speak to your medical practitioner if you have any questions regarding your personal medication. So, can pain medication make arthritis worse? In this video, we look at the facts relating to a widely reported study that found that anti-inflammatory medications were associated with worse outcomes for patients with knee osteoarthritis. If you have, no, or treat anybody with osteoarthritis, then stay tuned to find out why it matters. It's estimated that 7% of the global population, which is more than 500 million people, are living with osteoarthritis. Many of these sufferers will be taking medication for pain relief to increase the quality of their lives and allow them to be more active and better manage their physical health. The most common medication group for joint pain is NSAIDs, which stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. In many countries, NSAID medication can be purchased from most convenience stores and pharmacies without a prescription. Ibuprofen and naproxen are the most well-known NSAIDs that are often prescribed or purchased for pain relief, and it's believed that the pain relief comes as a result of the medication's anti-inflammatory properties, although this may not be the case and has been debated. Let's quickly define what osteoarthritis is. Osteoarthritis is a degenerative joint disease that can affect all of the joint structures from bone, cartilage, ligaments, and joint capsules. It is more common after the age of 50, but it is not a natural condition of aging, and some people never show signs of osteoarthritis. The main symptoms are pain, swelling, and joint stiffness, and the knee is one of the most common joints to be affected, as are the hips, hands, and feet. So why are lots of newspapers and websites reporting that medication could be making people's arthritis worse? Well, these reports are based on new research that was presented at the Radiological Society of North America in November 2022. The study looked at the impact of NSAIDs on the progression of osteoarthritis in the knees of 1,070 study participants over a four-year period, comparing the MRI results of those who took NSAIDs with those who did not take NSAIDs. The study reported the MRI markers of joint inflammation and cartilage quality were worse in the participants taking NSAID medication, both at the start of the study and after the four years. The authors concluded that NSAIDs were not associated with reduced inflammation in people with osteoarthritis of the knee. So here is a problem. This single study was widely misinterpreted by the media before it was actually published. Newspapers seem to want to run with the headline, pain medication makes arthritis worse, or words to that effect. Of course, this is not correct. A proportion of participants were taking NSAIDs, an anti-inflammatory medication, which is not technically pain medication or an analgesic. So this is the first piece of misinformation because there are many other pain relief medication options other than NSAIDs. So saying painkillers make so a worse is not correct or what the study reported on. The next misunderstanding is that the study only reported on MRI findings and did not measure reported pain, functional outcomes, or quality of life, which are things that matter to patients. The lead author, Dr. Luchens, commented that the NSAID group may have been more physically active due to the pain relief medication, and this could potentially lead to more advanced joint degeneration. However, exercise usually has a positive effect on the symptoms of arthritis. So this is debatable. Plus, as mentioned by Dr. Luchens, the study design accounted for these different physical activity levels. This study is the first to suggest that long-term NSAID use is bad for osteoarthritic joints, but this is a message that should be secondary to the already known dangers of long-term NSAID use, which include gastrointestinal, cardiovascular, and respiratory side effects. So in conclusion, this provocative new study is very interesting, but on its own, it has a very limited capacity to inform the way osteoarthritis is treated with medication, because it is already known that long-term ingestion of oral NSAID medication carries significant health risks for the individual. Other non-NSAID medications exist that may offer pain relief. And of course, we can't have a physio channel video without advocating the benefits of exercise in the management of osteoarthritis. This has been scientifically proven for some time now. Thank you for listening. I hope you found this video helpful. Please check out the channel and share this video with anybody who you think may find it helpful. 